guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ayer from Low Carb Love, and most of you know that I've lost over 100 pounds. So today I'm here at Chipotle, and I'm gonna show you how I order low carb, and it's also helpful for those of you that are on a weight loss journey and are just trying to order a little healthier and lighter. So let's go. Okay, so we're gonna do a salad bowl. Salad bowl? Yes. For here to go? Um, for here. Okay, and then we're gonna do veggies. Yeah, can I do extra veggies, please? Yeah, I got you. Yum. And then we're gonna do the chicken. And then can I do um, extra mild? And then the medium. And then we're gonna do some guac. And some guac. Yes. Dang, I don't even need a lid. That looks so good like that. Um, yeah, that's it. All right. All right, guys. This looks so good. I'm so excited. I'm gonna like show you right now once we sit down. Have a great day. Enjoy. Thank you. All right, guys. So here is my bowl. Now, this is traditionally how I do order my Chipotle um, bowl. Sometimes I do the guac, sometimes I don't. I would actually choose, if you're a big dairy person, like you like the sour cream, you like the cheese, Personally, I would choose between one or the other. I wouldn't do both. Um, it's just my personal preference. I don't do the cheese or the, or the sour cream, but I do like the guac once in a while because it has the healthy fat. So if you're trying to stay nice and full, then definitely um, do the guac. Now, I love their cheese here. Their cheese has 120 calories for this little cup and four net carbs. So it's up to you if you wanna do it or not. And then the dressing, this is one ounce. It's 60 calories and six carbs. So it's just personal preference. If you're kind of more living a low carb lifestyle, then for sure you can do the dressing. Um, it does have four grams of sugar. So if you're really trying to stay super like keto, like I'm not doing any sugar, then I would probably just not do the not do the dressing. But anyway, just wanted to let you know that it is an option and you can do the queso for 120 calories, four net carbs and 60 calories for the dressing, six net carbs, okay? Or six carbs overall. This here, I can try and do the macros for it. It's literally just, you guys heard me ordering. I do the salad bowl. I do extra veggies because I love veggies. Extra mild salsa, which is all the tomato. And then I do chicken. That's my, just what I personally like, but um, you can do the steak, literally anything that they have there you can do. Um, and then I also do mild salsa and then a little guac on top. So guys, we are gonna go in for the bite because I have literally been waiting to do this and a little guac on top a little bit more mm -mm -mm. cheers mm. so flavorful and it just feels really like light you know it doesn't feel like super heavy i usually don't do the whole bowl anyway just because it's a lot like you know a lot of veggies a lot of everything but if this is if this would be like my only meal because i have done omad which is one meal a day if i was doing omad then i would just mess up this whole bowl i would be really stuffed but that would be it for the day so it wouldn't matter you know so anyway this is how i order that's how i've been ordering forever you guys i've talked to you guys a lot about my weight loss journey um so when i first started my weight loss journey i definitely focused a lot on calories um, now, let me know if you guys want to see a video where I just kind of explain to you the transition that I've kind of like just the evolution that has happened from calories in like, I don't know if you grew up thinking like the less calories you eat, the more weight you're going to lose. Yes, there is some truth to that, but there's so much more to it. So if you guys want me to explain the reason why that doesn't actually work, let me know in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to make a full video on explaining why calories in versus calories out does not actually work. If you guys do want a video, a more in-depth video on that, then let me know and I will be more than happy to film it. But um, now I'm more into, um, I haven't stepped on the scale for years because for me it's very triggering, so I just don't, but I'm more into like intuitive eating now. So a lot of you guys ask me, do I track my calories? Do I track my carbs? So I don't actually track it like on my phone. I'm just more mindful of like what I'm eating. 
So I usually don't eat until I'm like super stuffed because it just doesn't make me feel good. And I think that if you're on a weight loss journey, you don't want to get to that point anyway. I feel like you definitely want to eat until you're nice and satisfied. Make sure that you focus on clean ingredients. Like Chipotle, I feel like it's a really great place to eat out. Like if you're gonna eat out, this is a great place because you have a lot of the veggies, they're low in carbs, you have the meats, they're pretty clean when it comes to ingredients. So um, I pretty much feel like I'm really nourishing my body when I come to Chipotle. Now, if I was being really strict, I'm not gonna have the queso, I'm not gonna have the, the dressing. I'll probably do like a salsa that they have in there, the spicy one. Oh my gosh, guys, it's really good, but it's super, super spicy. I feel like it adds a lot of flavor, but it's not going to, um, it's not gonna have the dirty ingredients. And I don't like to say dirty and clean, but it's not gonna have a lot of the ingredients that I wouldn't use in my own home. Whereas here, the guac, the salsa, the chicken, the lettuce, like it's all super clean. So you're really just, I feel like you're just getting a lot of nutrients in a bowl if you make it like this. Now, if you're more low carb, definitely add beans. I would even, if you're working out and you're like out there really moving, I would even add a little bit of rice. I would say especially on the week leading into your menstrual cycle. So for my women out there, the week before you menstruate, I feel like it's the best time to actually eat carbs. And it's like rice, potatoes, sweet potatoes, even like corn. I mean, a lot of people don't like to eat corn because um, here in the here in the States, a lot of our corn is GMO. But um, if you're able to find like a high quality corn that's organic and non-GMO, then I would say, why not? During that week is the time where I will definitely do it. I feel a lot better. I feel like it doesn't make my, like make me PMS because a lot of times that is all just like a hormonal imbalance. It took me a lot of just trial and error to get it right because before I would be like, oh, okay, it's the week before, so I'm gonna eat chips and I'm gonna have a bunch of carbs. No, no, no. Like that is not what I mean. Like I'm talking about high quality, um, complex carbs that are actually nourishing and have some vitamins and nutrients in it, okay? So it is not a time to go and like, woof, like just eat candy and chocolates and ice cream. No, 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 that's not what we're talking about here. Because at the end of the day, like you have a goal and if your goal is to lose fat and to actually go down in size, then you want to stick to whole foods. You want to stick to, even if they're snacks, like your snacks should be healthy. I feel like the best way is lead with a health mentality. Like if you're leading with a health mentality, then the weight loss is going to follow. Guys, I'm telling you, like I have been doing this now for over 15 years. I've had my like ups and downs. I've yo-yoed. I've basically been through everything that you guys are going through i've been there done that so when i tell you like when i share these things with you i'm sharing what has actually worked for me for me personally dairy if i have the sour cream if i have the cheese all on it yes i'm gonna get bloated like it's just it is what it is and not everyone is the same so you at the end of the day like you also have to figure out what works for you all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and finish my lunch because i am so hungry let me know which other restaurants you would like to see low carb options from if you like this video make sure you hit that like button don't forget to subscribe to the channel share it with friends and family that are living a low carb lifestyle or that you know would just enjoy a healthier option when they're eating out Guys, thanks so much for being here. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.